So again, starting off with this uh, point, I'm just going to estimate and find these three points. This is the third shape, so I'm just putting numbers, in this case three, for this one. So if this one went this direction, just kind of putting the point here, and this one going straight up this way, up to the top here. So what you're going to do, again, is just line these up. But just put the line just a little bit. You don't have to go all the way to the edge of the circle. And going from here to here. And this one's going to the top. So if it overlaps or goes over the top of one of your drawings, that's fine. But this is the corner of the oblique perspective for three points. So now I just have to estimate how big I want to make this, and it's going to be a cube. So there's the three points. So there's one. So that's going to that vanishing point at the top. This one over here is going to this third one. Okay. Here's the estimated distance for that. That's going to close that one up. And then this third and final one is going to be here and here. So it finishes off this cube. And you'll notice it looks a little bit like two-point perspective, but it does have this part cut out of it. Now that I have this one wall, this L shape, I have to decide where I want to place that and try to give me the most interesting looking part of the design. So I'm going to switch it and place it here. So I'm just lightly sketching it in and then going to go ahead and use the vanishing point. So lining this one up to this direction and to this way. So now it has a cell shape so now I have to cut this off. Well I'm going to do the top and the bottom one to just finish off the, the final piece. So here it's going back to this corner. And here this is going to go to this edge. So now these two points just have to intersect themselves. And they'll finish off that last section. So there's the back there's the wall. It's just this inside piece is going to go to that last point. So there I have it. So once I have it laid out, <clears throat> again, just take the pen just to clear it up. So this is going to be the linear section. that piece and just connect it. You can still line it up with the vanishing point or just overlap your drawing. Finishes that and again this is the linear perspective, and then you're just going to use the shading for the atmospheric and aerial perspective. And once you have that, just kind of look at the rest of the drawing and be consistent with the shading. Just start to place that in there. And you're trying to, again, lose those edges, the line. And it'll start to blend in. So 
So here's this line right here. This is the lightest plane or the lightest side, so I'm just kind of blending it real quickly from there over. And taking that piece across. <clears throat> Again, you can use the scrap paper or the straight edge to help you. Illustrate that part. Okay, so there you go. 